Hey y'all, today is I swear I don't be knowing. Wednesday, January 25th, and I am so sleepy as you can tell. I just got off one of my business calls and everybody in the house is asleep probably. It's like 10, going on 10.30. So, yeah. I'm probably about to go to bed, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I wanted to hit you all up and see how you're doing. Um, I just wanted to say I felt so disrespected because everybody's talking about Taylor looks like CJ, and it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it's like, I'm good. Um, I know she looks like CJ now, but I still see myself in her, so whatever, y'all. Whatever. We can, we can agree to disagree. <laughs> Um, but no, she does look like CJ. Um, she's sleeping in her little bed. I don't know if we told you, but we took like the front part of her bed off. So now she has like a big girl top. Why is it looking red like that? What the heck? Ew. Why do I look red? Is that better? Um, but yeah, so we took like the front part of her bed off. So now she has like a big girl toddler bed. I'll show you guys her. Hopefully she doesn't wake up though because she's gonna start tripping. She doesn't cry when we put her in her bed anymore and she um but she does like look super sad to the point that you know that she's sad because she doesn't really want to talk to you. So she'd be like, Good night. Like she has a lump in her throat, like, Good night, big girl. Okay. <laughs> like she does not want to say much. But I'll show you guys her in her bed and then I'm gonna go to my bed. She stinks so. She boo boo. So now I gotta wake her up and change her. Let me do this. I talk to y'all in a little. Well, probably tomorrow. Um, depending on how long it takes me to put her to sleep. Where's my phone though? Let me go get that. <clears throat> when you put your baby to sleep. Not put your baby when you change your baby pamper and she sleep or he sleep and they don't wake up boss it's too late for this y'all i play too much <laughs> all right i will talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow don't ask why i'm so happy i don't know i'm blessed <laughs> Have a good night. Good morning, you all. Today is Thursday, January 26th, and I am trying to get out of the house to leave to go to work. Um, trying to like get some snacks and stuff <clears throat> because I'm going to be in eligibility meetings all day at work, and I may not have time to actually leave and eat so how rude so i have this i'm gonna take me some candy keep me up this is our greens and i'm gonna do a review someone asked me to do like i think like more than one person asked me to do a review of some of the products that we have so i'm gonna do that because these products could really help some people achieve their goals for 17. See this that mess CJ did. No, we trying to eat healthy and heal by something like this. I don't eat stuff like this anyway, but it's crazy. Okay, so I have this, 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 this. We'll take some applesauce. Oh. 
I guess I should take y'all with me since you started with me, huh? <laughs> um, I bought me a big jug of water, so I want to take that. <clears throat> but I'm going to take a water bottle to put the water in. I have one of these, so I got this for Christmas from my mother and father-in-law. So I'll crack this open because I know it can hold a lot of water in it. And it'll keep the water cold. So I really don't care for much ice. I really like room temperature water, but um, I don't want my, I don't know. I just put a little teeny bit in there. I'm gonna do for right now. Um, I feel like I need some more breakfast. Let me just go ahead and leave so I can stop by the store and get like a muffin or something. So I'll talk to you guys later. I am feeding Taylor dinner. My, my makeup stay running like embarrassing. But I'm feeding Taylor dinner. I've been like so busy contacting people all day. Um and then i have to give her a bath taylor stop drinking all that juice so you can eat let me get over here for she be to build up on juice her and his juice i have a large party that day she don't understand. You know. but yeah so we're just here she's eating salisbury steak and mashed potatoes and she probably eat again later because she wants some, she likes green beans. So I have some green beans for her. She'll probably eat before she go to bed. <clears throat> so. Tootie hair looks crazy like a spider. I have to do her hair over. And say I'm going to Mama's house. Say I'm going to Mama's house. Mama is my mother, her grandmother. She calls her Mama. Somehow she got Mama out of Grandma. So my mom loves it. So we're gonna stick with it. Hunt to Look at her reading my text messages and stuff, huh? Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay, y'all. But I need to go edit. She's watching the mouse cartoons and stuff. No. Um, but I need to go no. edit a video, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Oh. Hello guys, today is Sunday and I am doing a million and one things as always. I am doing homework, working on my business, um, cleaning up, CJ's cleaning up, folding clothes, what else? My parents are on the way. Taylor was with them this weekend. Um, I didn't vlog because my hair was a mess. I just couldn't, I just, I don't know. We spent all weekend in the gym, kinda. And then we came home and watched the new edition movie, which was really good. So we are now waiting for Taylor to get home. I have much to do before she arrives. So I just want to come and say hello to you all. Um, hope you had a great Sunday and yeah. Oh, let me tell you guys about the today's lesson in church. Okay. One second. I'm doing like, again, a million things at once. So let me finish this really quick. I'm on my website. Um, placing my new team members. I'm just so blessed to have new team members. I just, I'm just so excited about where everybody's gonna go this year. I just know that I'm gonna be able to help so many people. So I'm just excited about that. So, let me tell you guys how church was. It was really good today. Go to my notes. <clears throat> so, the past, I didn't go to my church. We went to church in the area because we had dropped my brother off at school and we kind of got like pushed behind. So we just went to the church that we go to in the area when we were running late. Um, and he said 
Well, he preached on following the right path. So he said, follow the path that few people take um, because your choices determine where you're going. Your decisions determine your destination. So he brought up a poem, and I forget the author of this poem. It's like a really popular poet. Um, and basically the poet... Who, babe? Robert Frost. Robert Frost, maybe? He might not know. Because he was he was half asleep in church. Um, okay, so basically in the poem, he talked about how he came to a path. And there was like a fork in the road. And it was two paths. So one path was the um, road that many people took. Like you could tell that a lot of people took that path. It was wider. It was brighter. Um, and it seemed easier to take, like the easier choice of the two. And then there was like a narrow, a narrow, narrow. I can't get narrow. that right. A narrower path over on the right. And he said that's the path that he took, the path that many people didn't take. And he said that that is actually in the Bible, I think is. I didn't get the scripture, the exact Bible verse, but if you look up, if you ever Google like a word, I'm pretty sure you can find in the Bible. Like if you Google paths, it'll come up with every Bible verse that has the word paths in it. So that's just a tip for you all. Um, so he said, so in the Bible it says that the less traveled path leads to eternal life. So basically don't follow the path that everybody else takes follow the path that is less likely for other people to take. And if you guys see my um, my hair video that I did, it kind of like speaks of that and how um, this girl tried to bash me for doing network marketing or whatever. And I felt as though like this is not a path that's for everyone. It's not a path that everyone takes. So yeah, that just confirmed that. Um, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 through 9 says don't be misled you reap what you sow so he said what you plant is what you will produce so whatever you're planting is what you will produce so if you plant time you will get more time <clears throat> if you plant money you get more money if you plant love you get more love okay so that was that one and then he said you reap you also reap where you sow. So if you, um, he compared this to withdrawing money from the bank. Basically you withdraw, you withdraw from where you bank at. So if you go to, if you bank at SunTrust, you're not gonna withdraw from Wells Fargo because you're gonna have to pay that fee. So it's smarter to withdraw where you plan it at. So if you are planning your time in your relationship then you're gonna get things from that relationship if you're planning your time in your business or in your schoolwork you're gonna get a lot from your schoolwork or your business um, so then he gave us three steps to an incredible year the first step is to put God first God wants to be first in your life always um, and he Compare that to Genesis, the first verse in the Bible. It says, in the beginning was God. That's the first four or five words in the Bible. So that lets you know that God is supposed to be first. The first commandment is to not put any God before him. Um, so again, he's supposed to be first. Even down to tithing, God asks for the first 10% of everything that you do. Um so he said give him the first of everything the first of your time so there's 24 hours in a day you can give him the first hour if his hour is too much for you to be in and start with the first five minutes the first 10 minutes um give him the first of your money give him the first of your relationship so if that's praying for or praying with your children your husband your um friends and stuff like that that is giving god a piece of your relationship with other people when we sit down and eat we pray before we even um, eat the food and he said why is it important to <clears throat> he said why is it important to put God first because it requires faith and faith is what we need to continue to believe in and trust in God so we are 
live in that mindset, putting him first, we'll have the faith to do anything. And with faith, the size of a mustard seed, again, you can move mountains, you can do, there's nothing you can't do with that little faith. So again, a little goes a long way. Um, so that was number one. Number two is to put what's important in quote unquote long term. So what is important is long term before what is urgent. So what's urgent is like the here and now. Um, so some examples of things that are long term is God, of course, um, your spouse, your children, your health, your calling or your gift, um, your job and your friends. Those are important. They're long term. So you want to put those things first before you put stuff like TV or hobbies or your phone um, first. The third thing is to be passionate about what's important. So those things that are on your list of important, make sure that you're passionate about that. Um, so he encouraged us to make a list of on one side the things that are important and long term and on the other side the things are that are urgent and just in the here and now. So I hope that information was helpful. I know you guys like when I add that in. Um, so boom. There you have it. Um, CJ, do you want to talk to him? Because I've been talking to him for 10 minutes. <laughs> My mom here? Nah. Okay. Um, I got to talk behind the scenes, behind the uh, camera. Got a black eye, so I can't say too much. CJ, they got a black eye, y'all. Playing basketball. Nah. Well, anyway, I got a black eye from playing basketball. Um, Still recovering. It's but you are too far. I know that. I still I'll tell him. He um, has a black eye from playing basketball. It's been black for like, what, three, four days. Is it swollen back? No, it's not swollen. No, They're here. Oh my God. Please no. Are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, my parents here. I got to start my homework. Finish it. Bye.